Hi guys, for those of you who don't know me yet, my name is Agi. I had lots of questions about how to draw lace curtain effect and today in this tutorial I will show you how to make one. I will be using chopping board once again. First you need to paint it with white undercoat. I keep mine in a jar simply because I use it a lot and it's easier to open a jar than the can. If you use sponges, one coat should be enough. I will be using iron to glue my napkin. So first I need to cover my board with one coat of Mod Podge. Try to apply it as evenly as possible. Leave it to dry for one hour or so. Now we need to separate layers of our napkin and tear top of it for better blending. I always use brush and water to do this. Cover your chopping board with napkin and then sheet of baking paper on top and start ironing. Set your iron between one and two dots and switch off steam function. If your iron is too hot, air bubbles will appear on napkin, so I suggest to set it on lower heat and iron it for longer. Make sure edges are glued in properly. If not, look what will happen when you try to remove excess napkin with sandpaper. Oops, and I have a hole. But don't worry, iron it once again and this time make sure they are glued. Remove excess with fine sandpaper and leave it to cool down. When chopping board is cool, we need to seal our napkin with acrylic varnish. I usually use Ron Seal because it's hard and quick drying. As you can see, background of my napkin and board don't match, but I will be covering it with matching acrylics. I wasn't sure about this willow heart on my napkin and at the end I've decided to paint it as well. I really liked the background of my napkin with wooden boards behind pots, so I had an idea of painting something similar with help of angled brush and piece of copy paper. My hand is always shaky, that's why I used sheet of paper, but you can use ruler instead. Use darker acrylics and draw lines against paper. I wanted my board to look aged and uneven. 
so I added green and white here and there and some shading with almost dry sponge. Also, I painted edges with dark green to achieve frame effect and left it to dry. I couldn't help myself not to add sweet home rice paper. Remember, golden rule is to tear rice paper with fingers. Now we can start with our lace curtain. Take a piece of paper, put your board in the middle and draw a line around it. Plan ahead how long your curtain should be and start drawing it on your paper. It doesn't matter if sides are uneven. After all, lace curtain looks more real, real if they aren't. Draw frill and when you are happy about it, cut it out of paper. Make sure you do this the same as I did. only second half of our drawing. Cover bottom of your board with paper and using large decoupage sponge apply thin layer of paint. Your sponge needs to be almost dry so tap excess paint onto kitchen towel. Make sure not to cover edges of your sponge with paint, just the middle part as edges will leave circles on your board. I always paint edges so they look like curtain goes around them. When everything is dry, you need small brush to draw frill on your curtain. I'm not an expert in painting, that's why it is taking me so long to go around. Now the hardest part. Our curtain needs to be thicker when la where layers cover each other. I used angled brush to paint this. Don't apply too much paint onto your brush, it needs to be almost dry. If you're afraid you will ruin your project, try first on piece of paper you used before and instead of white paint use dark one. forgot about sides of my chopping board, so, so I'm adding more paint there. After drying several coats of acrylic varnish with sanding between coats and we are good to go. At the end, as a cherry on the top, satin ribbon in matching colors and we are finished. Thank you for watching and see you soon.